Islam comes from the root word Salam, which means peace. It also means submitting your will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to Almighty God. In short, Islam means peace acquired by submitting your will to Almighty God. And anyone who submits his will to Almighty God, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is called as a Muslim. Many people have the misconception that Islam is a new religion which came into existence 1400 years ago and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was the founder of the religion of Islam. In fact, Islam is there since time immemorial, since man set foot on this earth. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the founder of the religion of Islam, but he is the last and final messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern day Christians did not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus peace be upon him. We as Muslims, we have to believe in Jesus, son of Mary, so seriously that we believe he is going to be coming as the prophet of the end of time. Jesus hid him for a while and his friends and disciples used to bring him food. There's always been a struggle between the forces of good and the forces of evil. And we shouldn't differentiate between a Christian prophet or a Muslim prophet or a Jewish prophet because they're all on the same team. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والشمس وضحاها والقمر إذا تلاها والنهار إذا جلاها والليل إذا يغشاها والسماء وما بناها والأرض وما طحاها ونفس وما سواها فألهمها فجورها وتقواها قد أفلح من زكاها وقد خاب من دساها بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الذين آمنوا والذين هادوا والصابئون والنا 
Why the West is coming to Islam? And if you have to give the reply in just one sentence, the answer is the West is coming to Islam because Islam has the solutions to the problems of the West. The Western world, mainly to society, it caters to certain needs of the body. It caters to the physical needs of the body. There are several religions, most of them, which only cater to the spiritual aspect, that's the soul. But Alhamdulillah, Islam is a religion which has got a dual role. It caters to the physical aspect of the body as well as the spiritual need of the soul. The glorious Quran is the last and final revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which was revealed to the last and final messenger Prophet Muhammad sallallahu The glorious Quran is the most positive book in the world. It's a proclamation to humanity. It's a fountain of mercy and wisdom. Let us analyze today the reasons why the West is coming to Islam. One of the important reason is that the Western world is open-minded. The minds aren't closed, they're broad-minded and neither are they conservative like many other parts of the world. The other important reason is that the Western world it is advanced in the field of science and technology. You know the West, Alhamdulillah, at least in this age, it has advanced in the field of science and technology. And according to Albert Einstein, he said that science without religion is lame and religion without science is blind. And the Westerners, they consider science at the yardstick. The ultimate yardstick to judge anything is science. And Alhamdulillah, Quran, Alhamdulillah, speaks several things about science. Little was known about the staging and classification of human embryos until the 20th century. For this reason, the descriptions of the human embryo in the Quran cannot be based on scientific knowledge in the 7th, 7th century. The only reasonable conclusion is that these descriptions were revealed to Muhammad from God, from God, from God, from God.